guys what's going on my name is Akil and today I'm going to be doing my final video for this month guys as I haven't got really anything planned for this month guys so right at the end of this video before I say this is Akil signing out bye and all that guys I'm just going to say see you guys next month guys so yeah but anyway let's go on to this review today I'm going to be doing a review for the kid who would be king guys so without further ado guys let's get onto it so to start with for my pre-rating score I'm going to say that this movie is a good movie guys it was a good solid fun enjoyable time at the theater nothing that extraordinary or this world guys just a good fun solid time at the theater guys so yes all right so let's talk about the story uh without spoiling too much guys so the basically the story of this main story is a very simple story and it involves alexander elliot aka alex who finds the sword in the stone sword in the stone i was known as excalibur in the stone slab one day one night and basically he tells people that uh, his friend and mom no one believes him and then one day this guy called Mertin who's actually someone else I think you know what I mean like Mertin he kind of gives away who he really is and then uh he basically tells him that he has to do this task to defeat Morgana before six days for the solar eclipse comes and all type of stuff and not Morgana will read all her uh demons and minions onto the world and so an epic quest begins with his best friend with some buoys that he was picked on by and a bunch of other school kids and it's just a fun adventure guys it's a simple story but there's a lot going on in this movie guys and in an hour and 50 uh, five minutes or close to two hours i think they did it very well guys i don't think this movie would have worked well if it was like 90 something minutes guys yeah so that's basically the story in a nutshell guys yeah all right let's get on to the positives so the first positive major positive was the fantasy action i love the fantasy action in this movie guys i actually can't believe how violent some parts were like heads flying off like the monsters and all that guys but then again they had to keep it pg rated guys yeah but the fancy action was great some of the best i've seen probably since fantastic beasts and where to find them or or the second one or since the harry potter movie something like that but still um it's nowhere near as like as epic as a lord of the rings film but still it is pretty uh, fun and exciting and enjoyable for the, what it was guys yeah another great positive was the story i really enjoyed the story it was a modern day epic and the fact that they marketed this movie as like in the trailer and the second trailer which came a few weeks ago uh, which said like from the studio brought you like um Percy Jackson and the Olympians or the Lightning Thief that wasn't a great sign uh, for this movie guys like why why Percy Jackson they could say like Night the Museum but I get that it didn't fit the tone of this movie guys but that was a failure this was not a failure the story was great uh, like I said it was a different uh, it was a modern day epic guys that's how i would describe it so that's what we have to say about the story guys here yeah. and finally for positives it was a good ending guys yes that was a good ending guys it was a good solid ending it was a heartwarming ending it really uh ended off the movie well you very well and i really like how they kept the camera showed like each of the characters faces and then it just ended off like that guys so yeah all right now let's get on to the negatives Sorry I'm speeding things up, I just wanna, I don't wanna make my reviews that long guys. I'm pretty sure my How to Train Dragon review uh, was kind of long but I'll try not to make this one too long guys, yeah. But anyway, first ne major negative was that it wasn't that funny guys. Although this movie is kind of a fancy action comedy, I thought that it was gonna be uh, a lot more funnier. But I expected more from this movie when it came to the humor guys, yeah. But um. I still enjoyed it for what it was. There were some moments, but it wasn't a lot funny moments. But it wasn't like very humorous or laugh out loud moments and all that type of stuff. But still, it wasn't that funny, guys. Sadly, so I'm sorry. That's a bit of a, uh, a really big major negative because the fact that it was marketed as an act, a fancy action comedy, it didn't work for me at all, guys. I'm sorry. Next up, it was a bit cliched, especially with the villain and Patrick Stewart who plays Merlin and Rebecca Ferguson who plays Morgana there were times where it was a bit cliche there was a bit uh, especially with the villain and his performance uh, Patrick Stewart's performance and all that even the narration at the start it felt like so many things we've seen before guys I know Robin who did it and it didn't work for that movie at all this movie I don't think even needed narration I get that it needed uh, I was fine with the opening titles going on uh, at the start of this movie but as for the narration 
they could have replaced that with like another scene with uh well we'll get to that next what i have to say but as for this movie didn't work at all but then again uh sometimes these type of movies need to be a bit cliche guys but still it was a bit cliche nevertheless and finally for negatives it needed that character and when i mean by that character as you can see what the text says with the that uh there was a character that I wanted to see in this movie so badly, but that character didn't show up. And when you watch a movie, I think you know who I'm talking about, guys. There's a certain character that's mentioned a few times in this movie, and one character goes looking for that character, but I won't tell you who it is. I just wish that character was in this movie, guys. I wish. It could have made the movie a lot more interesting, a lot more impactful, a lot more meaningful, emotional, and all type of stuff, guys. Yeah, so there you have it. That's my view for The Kid Who Will Be King. To wrap things up, as a final score, I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10, guys. Yes, this was a good, solid, fun, family, adventure movie. Uh, not really adventure, like fun, fancy, fa adventure movie. Uh, well, not... Uh, oh, right. Let me rephrase. I'll say it properly. Fun, family, fantasy film, guys. Yes, there you, there you go. Yes. Now, like I said, uh, this is my last... Uh, video for this month guys as I have really nothing planned next month I'm going to be continuing my Hobbit series so once again two parts for the next Hobbit film The Desolation of Smaug I can't wait to do that guys and also the, A Dog's Way Home I actually want to check that out guys I've heard some pretty good things about it hoping hope that it's not that bad but let's see how we go guys so yeah so there you have it guys that's my view for the Kid Wee King Go check this out when it comes out in the US. I believe next week it comes out, right? On on the 25th of January, guys. Yeah. And, yeah, that's it. I'm done for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed all my view, guys. For this one, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, go check this movie out. I think you you won't be disappointed, guys. Ron Tomatoes is actually giving a lot of high praise for this movie, guys, surprisingly. But... It's just fine for what it is guys. So yeah, there you have it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe guys once again. My name is Akil and I'm signing out.